All right, so a group of Christmas carolers were met by uh, a really loud and obnoxious noise. I got Billy Hallowell and Trey Goins Phillips with me. We're also joined by Dan Fukushan. And Dan, uh, you guys were out there just singing some Christmas carols. Tell me what happened. Uh, well, this is a tradition of our church that we've been doing for, uh, I've actually been recording it since 2009. So this is something we do every year. But uh, this year we were uh, met with a very loud um, a noise machine, an amplifier and a window overhead from people who do not like our church and do not like that we sing in public. Uh, uh, so as, I'm, I'm yeah. going to stop you right there because I want people to hear, you guys are out there singing standard Christmas carols. You do this every year. And listen to this noise that is propped it's out of the angelic. window. It's, it's angelic. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very angelic. Take a, take a listen to this. <laughs> there you can see some of the protesters there. Um, <laughs> They've succeeded in drowning it's, our conversation out too. I know. So, I was going to say, but, kind of like when, when we were there. Th there was another protester there. You could see him signaling and gesturing, and I think he was separate from the one who put the giant sound machine on there, which I couldn't take more than uh, 20 seconds of that thing. Um, so, man, what what led up to this? What What is going on here? Do you, do you know what's going on and what the <laughs> motivations were? Yeah. So um, uh, Moscow, Idaho is a small town um, and uh, our church is a, a large church in a small liberal town. And so, you know, we've been doing this uh, for many years, uh, but over the last uh, few years in particular, it, and it's been uh, growing. Uh, uh oh, I started noise there. Uh, growing um, uh, uh, hatred for uh, what we're doing. Um, and the most potent thing we do ever is worship every Sunday. And I feel there's a real sense in which they know our singing, our worship, the, the preaching of the word and, and, and worship is, is um, uh, threatening to their way of life is how they see it. So we even had people online saying we're not against uh, Christmas, we're against Christchurch, uh, specifically, mm. you know, naming our church. Um, and, the, and that's because they are, in their view, uh, Christmas is something that is is not dangerous to their view of life because it's been so secularized. Uh, mm. But we are proclaiming, you know, that Christ is king. So our motto of our church is all of Christ for all of life, for all of Moscow, an extension all the world, which is really just the same creed that every evangelical, confessional, and historical church for 2,000 years has held. It's the Great Commission. Um, so it's they, they accuse us of taking over Moscow. And uh, we're doing that with Christmas carols. Uh, we're doing that with, in a spiritual sense, by proclaiming Christ and His Lordship overall. All right. So here, here is the question I have because when you're watching it, you're trying to figure out how in the world did you guys continue singing? I mean, there's probably a <laughs> 30, 40 second period where you just keep singing. Like, how, how with that right. noise? Right. So we continued through through to the end of the song. Um, and then uh, this is actually not the first time this has happened. This is the last time it was uh, more crude music that was playing. Uh, this was during the, the lockdown. We had a psalm sing. Uh, it wasn't Christmas because uh, we do this multiple times per year. Uh, but um, we finished the song and then our pastor stood up and um, uh, said, uh, there's two things. First of all, uh, we'd like to, uh, on three, let's wish these people Merry Christmas. Uh, and so the entire crowd basically wished Merry Christmas to to the hecklers. Uh, and then the second thing was, let's cross the street. And uh, the sound, we crossed the street to the other side of the square and were able to continue. Um, before long, uh, the music did stop, thanks to our local police who came by and actually, uh, uh, from what I understand, issued a, a citation to for, uh, for disturbing the peace to, to the noisemaker. So we actually ended up doing going through all our, our the carols we had planned, over a dozen, and uh, the rest of the singing sounds much better. <laughs> like Daniel, I think one of the things I want to know is what has been y'all's relationship with these, with these people? Because you said it's happened before, you've been heckled right. in the past. What's been y'all's relationship? What seems to be the motivation behind this pointless attacking of y'all just singing? Right. Uh, so they... Um, uh, accuse our church of taking over the town 
And uh, that is uh, due to being a, a fairly small town and with a land grant university, it's a fairly liberal town. And so there is uh, somewhat of an antithesis uh, between um, those who Christians and non-Christians. Um, and, and so the, the, now what we mean when we, with our motto that I mentioned earlier, all of Christ for all of life, for all of Moscow is really just the great commission. And so there's a lot of people compared their heckling to, um, to the Grinch. They said, they sang and they sang, 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 and it still came. Um, and, and so, and, and, you know, with that is, you know, the Grinch's heart grew two sizes. And I would say that, um, uh, as a, uh, as an evangelical Christian, I think that there's a slight theological problem there. They don't need to grow their heart by two sizes. See, that's kind of the Christmas message that's more secularized. Mm-hmm. Let's just all feel warm inside a little bit more. They they need what what I'd like to invite all the people watching is to pray for that guy and that that was that was heckling us that God would give him a new heart that 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 he would and not because we're forcing him, not because we're taking over the town, but because he comes to know Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit fills him and he would be singing with us next year. So that is my prayer and that is what we said when we yelled back merry christmas that was our our wish uh uh for him, for those mm. people but without the sound machine next year <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, without the sound machine would be great <laughs> how do you guys i mean given that that kind of dichotomy that you're describing there with this you know kind of the angst against the church and then you guys trying to be out in the community how, how are you guys balancing that when you know you're probably going to run into when you just go do something as benign as singing some christmas carols out in the out in the street for half an hour or whatever the case may be. And you know, you're, there's a good chance you're going to run into some resistance. Um, you know, what is your guys sort of mindset when you're going out to do these sorts of things, you know, given that you know that, and then given your mission to try to, you know, spread the gospel. Well, um, we, we focus on the, the, the central goal of worship. So, uh, they are, uh, I often tell them, um, you know, you, you, you view us as these scary people. Um, come worship with us one day. Come to church. It's open to all. Um, and, and the other thing is just to, you know, to keep on going, to, to love them in return, to return love for hate. Um, and, uh, you know, come have a cookie. <laughs> there were extra <laughs> cookies. There were some for a lot more people. We served hot drinks and cookies afterwards. Yeah, I think a lot of people appreciated that, that read our story on it, just that the fact that you guys kind of responded gracefully, even though they were, you know, gesturing and, and whatnot in front of the kids and, and everything else like that was it was just a good example of how to you know respond to to, to something like that. Yeah, and right. there's, there's there a is, lack of good examples, right? So, so yeah. that for me was a big takeaway when you guys wished, yeah, you just shout that Merry Christmas, and then you go and look. You could have, you could have been combative. You guys could have said, "We're staying here. We have every right to be here." I assume you guys had permits, or you you crossed whatever T's you had to to be there, and yet you right. chose to go to a different area. That says a lot. Right. the The other thing is that we uh, want the um, these these people to know that. Um, uh, the 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 um, the spiritual aspect is the center of what we're doing. There there is not a um, the you know this church has been a lot around for a long time, and we're now seeing the third and fourth generation of Christians who are there, and uh, they are so our children are growing up with this kind of, uh, you know, knowing that there are people who hate them, but th- the Bible says to bless those who curse you and to rejoice when people slander you, say false things about you. There's a lot of uh, details around this that people have, you know, that we were accused of, of uh, crashing a closing of a restaurant, for example, which had nothing to do with the, the planning of our event and, and things like that. Um, and so we, we get used to the fact that they're going to twist, um, twist things. And then, and what the Bible says about this is that that means that we're blessed when, when people twist things and, and uh, revile us. So uh, we consider ourselves blessed. What do you guys got coming up? I mean, you, you seem like you're out there in the town a lot in spite of some of these conflicts that might arise. What, uh, can, can we expect to see some more Christmas caroling or sing Psalm sings in the future? Uh, uh, we have been doing this for many years. So definitely more of that coming. Uh, but uh the the central the central thing is happening this Sunday and the next and the next and the next. <laughs> it's this it's uh, the 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 worship of God and the preaching of the word. That is what is powerful. That is what I think. There is a sense in which um, there uh, it's one of those uh, God doesn't exist and I hate him. They know that this is potent, and yet they they 
they also want to say that it's it's um, you know why would you hate singing? You know, a, a lot of people are saying, wait, really? They they were you know how is that hateful? Well, it, it is powerful in that in the spiritual sense. There is this is a, one of the most powerful things we can do. Um, so what do we have next? A lot of more worship. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Love that's that. a, good, a good point about singing too, because uh, one of my pastors pointed out. Um, that, that they love Christmas time because it's the time of the year when a bunch of non-Christians are singing a lot of Christian songs, you yeah. know, when they're not singing Rudolph, you know, when they're singing actual, right. you know, Holy Night, they're singing Christian songs and then it doesn't even realize. And then eventually sometimes it might hit them, you know, like, oh, Rudolph, hey. Rudolph's not a Christian song. No, no, Rudolph <laughs> is not a popular misconception, <laughs> but. Uh, no, no theology in Rudolph that I could find. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, I put the words on the screen because to, to draw attention to the mm. to the the contrast of you know what they were, um, you know, gesturing towards us and yelling at us and giving this noise while we're singing "Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let let earth receive her King." So that's the part that scares them. They, I mean, they sing these. They hear them in the sec. You know, you go to the grocery store and you'll hear "Joy to the world." Um, mm. And but the, but we actually believe that you know Christ let Earth receive her King that 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 Christ is King over all the Earth including Moscow and that is very scary. So Christmas is uh, Christmas carols are very scary to people who hate Christ. And my prayer is that they would join us next year and love Christ. Mm. All right. Well, Dan Fukushan, appreciate you uh, spending a few minutes to just talk about what happened there out there. And my uh, pleasure. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.